Today is another inside bait making, bait selling video on UPC codes. What they are and why you might need them and why you might not. Okay guys, first off, what is a UPC code? You know, it's like a universal product code or something like that, I don't know man. Fine folks at GS1 are kind of the world supplier of UPC codes. Basically, think about it like this, it's a unique string of numbers, usually expressed as a barcode on a label, that identifies your product as unique. And the company GS1 maintains a big old database of UPC codes, who owns that UPC code, and what product it goes to. Okay, so why do I even need a UPC code in the first place, right? And, you know, you probably don't need a UPC code unless you're gonna sell in a retail store, right? If you're gonna go down to your local bait and tackle store, if you wanna get into places like Walmart, you know, Cabela's, Bass Pro, your local tackle shop, they're going to want typically a UPC code. At the very least, they're gonna want something called a SKU, which is a unique code. It's a, like a stock counting unit. I don't know why it has a K in there, but it's a unique code that identifies your product. And the reason for that is when you go to check out, right, they wanna scan a barcode, it pulls up the price and all that kind of good stuff, right? A UPC code is the best way to do that. Their systems support that already, and it's kind of baked into whatever uh, cash register they have typically, unless it's like a really old school place that types in numbers, right? Oh, uh, let's see, a stove 750, skillet 420, flour 850, 975, two ounces. <laughs> that comes to $47 even. Now for the wagon. They probably don't need a UPC code then. But any reasonably modern retail shop, online place that you're gonna sell your product to needs UPC codes. Amazon needs UPC codes. Even eBay now kind of wants UPC codes. So one thing to keep in mind with UPC codes as well is it also identifies the specific variety of that product you have. So for example, with the Techno Frog, we have watermelon and pearl, we have black and blue color, and we have um, green pumpkin. All of those different colors need their own unique UPC code, right? They're all Techno Frogs owned by WM Bio and their individual colors. So when you go to buy a UPC code or multiple UPC codes, keep that in mind, right? If you're selling apparel, each size and color needs its own UPC code, right? So if you're selling a shirt that comes in small, medium, and large and six colors, like that's, you know, whatever, six times three UPC codes, right? What is that, 18, right? You need 18 UPC codes to identify each individual product and variation. So where do you get these things? There are services you can buy like aftermarket UPC codes, uh, but you are running a risk there that you're gonna get a UPC code that's been used in a product before. And if you go to sell on some places like Amazon um, and potentially some larger retail stores, you're gonna run into problems, right? Because they're gonna put that in and it's gonna show up as, you know, Jimmy's baby bumper thing or something, not your product, right? So the, the right way to do it is to go to the website GS1. You go in and buy, you can buy an individual barcode or you can buy blocks of barcodes and the more you buy, the cheaper it is. So at WM Bio, we bought a block of 10 and I wanna say that was like 450 bucks. I forgot, it was painful to buy, right? Cause like you're literally buying a number in a database. It sucks. So we bought those and we've used three so far, obviously Techno Frog in the three different colors we have. And when you buy a prefix, is what they call it, which is a block of numbers, you know, you get some marginal benefit of like your numbers will be in the same kind of group with the same beginning numbers on them. I don't see a big reason for that to like buy a hundred of them or something unless you have the cash and you want the discount. So if you're gonna only sell them online through your website, you don't really need a UPC code, right? It's not technically a requirement to do that. You can get away with not having one pretty easily. Like no one, there's no world UPC code police or anything like that, right? So think about that, you know, if you wanna take the step and sell into retail organizations, they're typically gonna want one. If you think, you know, you wanna to try to sell into Cabela's or something, you're gonna need a UPC code. By the way, they don't care about you, at least not right now. But a UPC code is something you can get like literally within, I don't know, a few minutes, right? Go to the GS1 website fill out all the information, pay them their money, and bingo, you can start creating UPC codes all day long. Print them on labels, away you go, right? So don't think about it as something that you need to plan for, really. If you get into a situation where you're looking at a big order to a retail store and they say, hey dude, we need UPC codes, you can get them, bro. You got this. So 
Final word, if you're starting out only selling directly, don't want to sell to retail, don't even worry about UPC codes, bro. It's cool. If you need them, you can get them. Links to GS1 website below, all the information you need there to get your UPC codes if you want them. Take care, tight lines.